pretty much been starting every single leg workout with leg press for the past year because I do get some Oshkin slaughter in my knee and this just doesn't seem to bother it at all. I'll do two warm up sets and then I'll do three sets. <laughs> That was the last warm-up set. <sighs> All right, you guys, first working set. I've always been able to get 12 reps, so it's either I get 12 reps or I die. Let's go. the walk of shame I just failed the last set last rep only got 11 instead of 12 bummer oh well all right so what I like to do with this hack squat it's extremely heavy at the bottom like way too heavy in my opinion kind of destroys your knees while you're down there so I tie this band right to the shoulder pads on here so that when I get to the bottom it takes a lot of force off of it at the bottom of the movement. Kind of spares your knees a little bit and gives you some momentum out of the hole. So that's the reason why I do it. It probably only helps about 20 to 30 pounds at the very bottom. It doesn't even help much at the top. You can see it's pretty loose, but it's just one of the things that I've picked up over the years. Next, we're gonna be doing some sissy squats. I learned these from Tom Platts himself. And pretty much, this is the only quad exercise that trains your quad in the lengthened position. So I've been adding in two sets, every single leg workout, and then I move into quad extensions.
I know that a bunch of people are gonna be watching my leg workout and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this guy trains with way too much volume. But the truth is, if I don't do two hours of working out my legs, I've, I don't feel like I've fully accomplished it. And I'm only training legs like once a week right now, just because I feel a lot less fatigue doing that versus two times per week. I take long rest periods, but I also train really hard and I do a lot of volume. Honestly, I enjoy it. If I still have a pump, I'm gonna continue working out. That's the truth. I'm not gonna go home if I still have a pump. Bulgarians always put these towards the end of your workout so that when you get nauseous you don't still have the whole rest of the workout to do. When I do these I try to mainly prioritize my glutes and my hamstrings. My quads are already fried from all the other exercises that we've done so try to get my glutes and hamstrings involved as much as possible. Last exercise of the leg day. Everybody forgets to do these. Adductor machine. One of the most important aspects of having an aesthetic leg. <sighs> Make sure when performing this exercise, to make eye contact with somebody nearby in the gym and moan as loud as you possibly can. 